Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and in this video I'm going to show you how to get up and running with your own WordPress multi-site using Cloudways Hosting. Okay, so I've worked with a lot of professionals throughout the last several years, many of whom have been building platforms particularly on WordPress. One of the things that I've shared with a lot of my clients and customers, however, is the power of creating a WordPress multi-site. So I've talked a lot about multi-sites in the past. In essence, if you're pretty familiar with WordPress, you know that you're managing a single site. But what a WordPress multi-site enables you to do is to create a platform that enables you, as you might guess by the name, to create a whole host of sites or a network of sites under a single domain. So for example, if you've got mydomain.com, you could do mydomain.com slash blog, and then you'd have your blog there, and it would be its own all-encompassed WordPress website. Then what you could do is you could create migratewebsite.com slash landing, and then that could be the home for all of your landing pages. And then you could create, you know, another one, you know, and you could keep going down the line, or Secondarily, you could also set up something that has what's called a subdomain. So you could have blog.mydomain.com and that would be your blog. Then you could have landing.mydomain.com and that would be your landing page generator. So you kind of get the idea. The whole idea is that you create one domain or one website and then you turn it into a a multitude of different websites for different uses. Now, in the past, what a lot of people have used this for is for running a network of sites with a whole bunch of people. So they could have like a, an admin would create a setup with one domain and then you know a whole host of different people could each have their own website on that particular multi-site. What I've used it for, however, and have had a lot of success with both for myself and for my clients is actually using this multi-site each for a different pillar or use of my particular marketing needs. So like I mentioned, one would be for a blog, one would be for my landing pages, one would be for my launches, one would be for my webinars. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to use Cloudways to set up a multi-site so that you can start using multi-sites for your marketing platforms. Okay, so now that we have the idea of why to set up a multi-site to begin with, the next question is, okay, so why Cloudways? So for most hosting uh, solutions, I recommend WP Engine just because they're really easy and simple to set up. So you can set up a multi-site through WP Engine as well. The reason I wanted to show you how to do this particularly through Cloudways is because Cloudways is a little bit more of a robust and uh, powerful platform in the sense that you can set up a whole bunch of sites for a lower cost. WP Engine tends to cost a little bit more. I do like their customer support. I think that they're a little bit easier to use, but if you're on a little bit more of a tighter budget or you just wanna be able to more affordably create a ton of sites or experiment with a ton of sites, Cloudways is probably gonna be the way to go. So I have a link in the description if you'd like to sign up for Cloudways. I do get a small commission should you decide to use our link, which does definitely help support the show. Uh, so again, just click the link below this video and then we're going to, I'm gonna show you now how to actually go through the process of setting up a multi-site WordPress website. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop on over to our browser and we're gonna type in rightly.tv slash Cloudways. We we'll see it's going to take us over to this particular page. And all you got to do is just click the button that says "Get Started for Free." And I think it is actually a 30-day free trial, so you can actually get in here, set up an account, and then set up your first WordPress multi-site or WordPress website without having to actually pay anything. So fill out this form. I'm not going to fill this whole form out, but this will just give, get you started with setting up your account. Okay, then once you get into your account, you're gonna see you're gonna have some options here. The very first thing you're gonna see is the ability to add an application. So in this case, you can just do regular old WordPress. You can do WordPress with WooCommerce, and then you can also uh, do a multi-site, which is what we're going to be doing here today. You can also do it clean with no Cloudways optimization, but I'm gonna recommend, if you're gonna do a single WordPress website, you just do this one, or if you're gonna do a multi-site, just go ahead and click multi-site, migrate multi-site 
You can give a name to the server, my server. So what you're doing is you're setting up a single server that you're gonna be paying for, and you can add it to a project if you would like to. Okay, the next thing you're gonna see here, and this is what's pretty cool about Cloudways, is that it allows you to actually go through a number of different hosting services they kind of just work as a management system between you and the actual server hosting company. So AWS, which is Amazon. DigitalOcean is where I usually go just because they're gonna be the most affordable. If you see down here, you're gonna see the monthly pricing. Uh, so down here, if you don't think you're gonna need uh, the two terabytes of transfer or two gigabytes of RAM, if you're just starting out, you can li you can usually just pick the lowest tier option. As you, as you can see here, you're just gonna be paying $10 a month, which for hosting, specifically geared towards WordPress, it's actually really affordable. Then what you probably want to do is pick the server that's going to be closest to you. So they got one in London, San Francisco, Singapore. So I'm on the east or the west coast, so I'm going to pick this. If you're on the west coast, obviously you'd probably want to pick probably New York uh, and that sort of thing. So I'm going to pick that and then I would click launch now. So I've already got a server set up, so I'm not actually going to go through that process. But that's all you'd have to do in order to set up your very first server. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, since we didn't actually create that server, is I'm gonna go ahead and add a new application to this server so we can see the process. So I'm gonna select my server, click, click Add Application. Then we're gonna go down and we're gonna select Multi-Site just like we were earlier. And we're gonna click Add Application. Once your application has been created, you'll see here a little uh, notification, which once you click will take you over to your application. So uh, the really cool thing about this is that it's it's usually quite the process to actually set up a WordPress multi-site. But in this case, you'll see that it's created everything for us, a staging domain, so that we can just click up here and it's already got WordPress installed at this really long URL. So I can live edit all the pieces to this website. You'll see it's created a user, an admin user for me to be able to log in immediately. So I can literally just click this to copy, click this to copy. And again, this used to take the take a process of actually going through and setting up a whole bunch of different pieces to make this actually work. But now it's a lot more simple. Okay, so once we have it all installed, the next thing that we need to do is go over to tools and then we need to click on network setup. So this part is going to, to require a little bit of, of coding expertise or kind of uh, server side expertise, but it's pretty simple once you get it all up and running. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we wanna pick whether we wanna do subdomains, so site1.mydomain.com or subdirectories, which is mywebsite.com slash site1. So I highly recommend you do subdirectories. If you're gonna be using this for the case, of managing multiple sty styles of sites within one place. I'm just gonna call this Rightly TV Multi-Site. Then we wanna just keep this at the admin domain and then click install. Okay, so the next step is gonna be a little bit squirrely in the sense that we have to actually go through and connect via FTP in order to add these two pieces to a particular file, but I'll show you which files to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and head on over to an FTP client, which you can find for free. So just, I'll, I'll leave a link to one called Cyberduck. Uh, there's also FileZilla, a number of other ones, but you're just gonna wanna uh, uh, connect via FTP. I'm gonna use one called Transmit, at which point you'll be able to connect uh, through this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click Add New, we're gonna do SFTP, we're gonna do Next, and then for the server, what we're gonna do is you're actually gonna paste in the IP address that they provided to you. Then you're gonna wanna go to the server that you set up. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you my credentials, but you're gonna go up to servers and then into your server details. And you're gonna paste in your username and your password, and you're gonna click connect. Okay, so now that I've connected, I just wanna pop on over to applications and you'll see that there's just kind of a bunch of folders in here with random codes. So what I wanna do is I wanna go back over to my application that I was working on. So just search for multi, you'll see that pops up. Then you'll see this kind of long string here. That's essentially what you're looking for. So mine starts at, with C-A-Y. So I'm gonna find C-A-Y, go in here, go to public HTML. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to edit two particular files. So the first one is the wp-config. So we're gonna go ahead and edit that. 
So you can actually edit that uh, with, pl with a plain text editor if you would like. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this with an application I use called Coda. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look for the multi-site true. And then that's the, this is where we're gonna paste in this information to replace that. So you're gonna find that line that says multi-site true. We're gonna replace it with what they tell us to. And then we're gonna close that particular file. And then we're gonna put it right back in there. And yes, we are going to replace it. Okay, so the next file we need to edit and the last one we need to file uh, edit happens to be a hidden file. So you're gonna make, wanna make sure that in your FTP client, you're gonna be able to show hidden files and it's gonna be this HT access file. So we're gonna go ahead and download that. Then on a Mac, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna navigate to the desktop and you're gonna want to go ahead and hit command shift period, which is going to show all of the hidden files. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this one over in my text editor so that I can edit this. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to copy all of this information that they tell us to, so that HT access file. And we're gonna go ahead and replace everything in there, click save, and then we're going to close that particular file. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop back on over, we're gonna find that HT access file, and we're going to drag it back into public HTML. We'll go ahead and click replace, and there we go. Okay, once we've done that, we pop back over to our multi-site page. Remember, we've replaced this content uh, in the config file, and we've replaced this content in the HT access file. We're ready to go, but they're gonna we're gonna need to go ahead and log in one more time in order for this to actually work. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy uh, our email address, then we're going to copy our password, just like we did originally. We'll log in and now we'll see a brand new tab at the top left-hand corner, which is going to have our whole network admin. This is where you're gonna be, you're gonna be able to manage all of your uh, pages and all of your various sites. You see it starts out by just making the original WordPress site your first site, but then you can go through here and you can add as many as you want. And like I said previously, you can create one for your pages uh, or for your landing pages or for your launches or for your blog or whatever you want to do you can create as many WordPress websites as you want. Then as a quick bonus one thing that you can do is head on over to notablethemes.com and just click that big button that says start for free. You're going to be able to sign up to receive the free Notable Themes plugin. Then you can head on over to your multi-site and install this as a plugin. So we're going to go upload plugin, choose file, and from our desktop we've got that uh, plugin. Click install now. And the really neat thing about this is that you're gonna be able to network activate this, go to your site, and then you'll have a collection of uh, tools, a whole host of tools, some of which are free, that you can go through and start installing on your multi-site. If you'd like to see a complete list of all the themes and plugins available at Notable Themes, you can just head on over to notablethemes.com, but you don't have to use Notable Themes products, they just work really well on a multi-site setup since there's a lot of them that are set up and geared particularly towards handling a number of different marketing needs. Okay, so I know that was a little bit more technical than I typically do for a lot of these videos, but I just wanted to go through and show you all the steps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave links below this video that'll have all the tools and resources you should need. I know I'm working on a Mac for this particular example. However, if you are using a PC, if you're using Windows or even Linux, there's a ton of free tools that'll enable you to edit files on an FTP server. So again, I know it's editing a little bit of code to get this to work, but using Cloudway makes it powerful and easy compared to a lot of the other tools and resources that are out there today. You don't have to jump into the database or anything like that. Just a couple of tweaks on the, the files on the server and then you're good to go. Okay, so hopefully you found this useful. As always, if you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.